Yeah. Up. So you can win a game today and yeah. you can win a phone today and we are winning because we are doing ah. fitness, not here, but somewhere else. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's that time of the morning where we need to move our bodies. Uh, leg workouts are important for several reasons, yet they're sometimes neglected in favour of upper body workouts. Basically, people forget leg day. Oh, nice leg day. Come on, man. It's important to stay consistent with That's your leg right. workouts since these large muscles, well, and some of us, are an <laughs> integral part of our overall fitness. Let's hand over to the guy who does it best. Wild De Mornay is back with another workout. You better grab your mat and your guts because you're going to need it for this one. Come on, Raul. Okay, I can go to 90. Come on. Come on. Come on. And back up. No. Yes, good morning, you beautiful people. Welcome back to it. We are moving once again. No excuses whatsoever because this time we are doing it with no equipment and encouraging you to get involved with this epic workout that's only going to take five minutes out of your day. As simple as that and it's so, so effective. Now myself and Carlton are going to take you through your paces. So as we have always been doing, we're going to go for 30 seconds of working time and then you earn yourself a 30 second break. Basically, we're doing that five times and if you're really feeling up to it, you can go for three sets in total. Today, we're gonna to go through one set together and starting off with our first exercise, it's a curtsy to diver. So very simple, you have one leg planted, great stability, this is a good workout to activate the glute as well as just promoting warming up of the muscle and reducing injury. So essentially, stable leg on the ground, having the other leg up on the air, bringing it around the leg, curtsy lunging all the way to the side, foot touches the ground, using the glute to drop down and then again using that glute to bring myself back up to that restart. Once I'm in this position, the glute's engaged, I go straight into my diver. That's making sure my spine's neutral, extending that leg straight out, making a nice uh, plane on the top, touching the toe and coming straight back and then back into our curtsy for that repeat. All right, you guys are with me. We're doing the one side only. 30 second starts in three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy lunge to start, nice and slow, Good control, using that glute to squeeze up. Now we're going for our diver. So make sure you're keeping a nice straight back. Extend that leg, touch the toe, and back to restart. Beautiful stuff. Colton, we're looking good there. Back into our curtsy. And this is a great exercise to increase mobility, increase your range, but also it's a great exercise to activate those stabilizers and all the muscles that we need to get a good run on, to do everyday work, and just to make ourselves more competent in our workouts. All right, people, 30 seconds is almost up. In five, four, three, two, one. That's time. You earned yourselves your first break. That's 30 seconds. Make sure you have a nice, deep, slow breath and recover. While you're resting, listen to this, because this is the next exercise you're gonna be doing. It's the exact same movement, but on the other side, moving straight into it. All right, you ready? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's start with that curtsy once again. Good control, good form, using the glute to bring yourself back up into that diver. Also activating the core here once again to make sure that that's also stable. You might find like you're about to fall all over the show. That's okay, that's good. That means that the body's working. The stabilizers are active and the core is definitely engaged. Keep moving, people, you're almost there. You're feeling that burn? That's normal, that's a good thing, especially in the glute. We've got five more seconds left. Four, three, two, one. That's time, all right, that's it. Two sets down already. We're moving over to the next exercise. While you rest for the 30 seconds, let me explain to you how easy this one is. So again, with one leg, we're gonna start off with the right leg and you're lunging forward, then to the side, and then backwards. It's a 180 degree lunge, essentially lunging forward, making sure the knee doesn't go too far over the toe, using the glutes, back to restart. Then I lunge to the side, making sure the glutes are sticking back once again, and exactly the same thing for that reverse. All right, in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. Forward lunge, beautiful. Explode back to restart, then to the side. Nice. And now we're doing that reverse lunge. Good control, good form, beautiful. And then repeat that once again. 30 seconds of this, great tempo. It's all about quality over quantity for this one. So make sure you're really engaging and activating that mind muscle control, using your glutes especially and your core. Stay in there, people. In five, four, Three, two, one. That's time, beautiful stuff. All right, 30 seconds, and then we're moving straight over to the next exercise, of course. That's the other side of this workout. Again, starting with a 360 lunge, but on the other foot. You guys ready for it? We're feeling good, we're feeling strong. Maintain a good posture, keep your core engaged. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, forward lunge. Nice, then to the side. 
Beautiful. Now we're going back for that reverse lunge. Nice stuff. And repeat that. Hang in there, people. Now we're working out. Now we're moving. Now we're building some good leg strength, good mobility, and we're activating those stabilizers. Whew. Whew. All right, hang in there, people. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. That's time. Beautiful stuff, people. One more exercise coming up in this 30 second break. Pay attention because the last exercise is really simple. It's a squat pulse, right? Making sure we have all the great mechanics of a good squat, having a nice spine that's neutral, our core is engaged. But instead of going for the straight squat, hang for pulse and then squeeze the glutes to recover. So back down, you pulse once and then straight back up for that recovery. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. Down, then a pulse. Back up. Nice. Squat, pulse, and up. Beautiful stuff. Squat, pulse, and up. It's not a bounce, it's a pulse. So control that movement, making sure we're activating the glutes, activating the legs, especially, keeping our core engaged and having a nice neutral spine. Don't worry about the knees going over the toes too much. Making sure that we're kind of closing that door behind us every time we do make that squat movement. And that's five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, beautiful stuff, people. That's a wrap on this workout, a full leg session that I know you absolutely love. And the best part is no equipment needed whatsoever. Now, whether you're outside, in the garden, or maybe even indoors at home, it doesn't matter. We have no excuse to not move. So Mzanzi, we'll see you on the next one. Nice job, brother. Sure, nice one. See you for the next one. <laughs> oh, that poor young man. Next yeah. to him. Shame. <laughs> we feel yeah. your pain, bro. We've yeah. been there. We've all been there. We understand. But Raul, you're awesome, man. We love him. Yeah, the legs were burning. I could actually tell from that from the other chair, but it's okay. Uh, thank you, Raul, for showing us that you can work out. And we want to look just like you. And of course, he'll be back a little bit later with some, some more, but we have some movies to, to assess a little later. Right, and it did take us that whole segment to get back up. That's oh, correct. No, we're going down again. It's going down again. So, Stay there. Five minutes. Feel good breakfast show. Sure.